Hello, my name is Walter Cruz. I'm teaching a digital video class at Mission Valley ROP right now. Hi, my name is Doug Laidlaw. Um, I uh, am a strategic account manager. Hi, my name is Gail Stewart. Uh, I own Mission Coffee Roasting Company in Fremont. Hi, my name is Stephanie Moore. I'm founder and president of the Moore Group. Hi, my name is Rick Jones. I am currently a city council member in the city of Fremont. Um, I enjoyed a career here at Fremont as a uh, police officer for 29 years. Hi, my name is Grace Cho, and I'm vice president of brand strategy and deal analysis at 20th Century Fox. And I'm also um, co-founder and board chair of Gladio, a digital media nonprofit to help kids find careers. My name is uh, Pankesh Purwar, and I'm the IT director at uh, VMware. Works out of Palo Alto. Hi, I'm Craig Steckler, and I'm a retired police chief from the city of Fremont. Hi, my name is David, David Shao. I'm the director of marketing technology for ServiceNow. I wish I know when I was a teenager that uh, you can uh, follow your dreams, like you can uh, just Go ahead and do whatever you like to do. What I wish I had known uh, when I was a teenager or in my 20s, early in my career, was uh, to, to network. Networking uh, really has helped me in business and finding new jobs. I've never found a job through want ads, through any, any kind of ad on LinkedIn or Indeed or any of the job sites. It's always been through networking and they've been great jobs. It would just be to try and convince my friends to choose the right path in life. Um, stay away from the things that are going to end up getting you into trouble, end up getting you into financial trouble, legal trouble, all of those kinds of things. What I would tell any young person, high school level, is that pay attention to your mentors, people that you find important in your life, that help you to grow as a person. And then I would tell you to understand that what you started out doing may not be what you end up doing. And that all of it is part of a path and a journey. And grow through all of it and learn through all of it and experience it all and formulate your thoughts through what you've learned in the whole process. That's it. I think what I have learned over the years and looking back on those days is to really spend time figuring out what makes you happy and really look at all of your options. I think for me, I wish I had done more self-assessment when early on, I think I would have avoided some of the career choices I had made. And I had to learn through trial and error what really made me happy. And it ended up being that because I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do, I went into the field of career development and have had an opportunity to work with thousands of people who were just like I was, trying to figure out who they were, where, where they wanted to go, what was gonna make them happy. And I remember, teaching my first career development course, a woman came up to me and she said, I never thought of putting the word fun with the word work. And I think if I had been told early on that fun and work should go together or love and work or passion or energy should be a part of what you do, I think I would have taken some different paths. But I fortunately ended up in a career that did give me that passion and did give me that energy. And now I am just, very focused on wanting to help people get that information that they need about who they are earlier on. Take school more seriously. Confidence is so important. Feel good about yourself. Um, don't be afraid to ask for help. Um, if you have the opportunity to have a mentor, um, take it. And if one isn't offered to you, Open your eyes and look around for an adult that you admire and ask them to be your mentor. The three things that have made me successful, number one is I've used my network. I've built up a strong network. Uh, it could be a lot stronger if I had really recognized it early enough. 
It's become absolutely essential in the last 10, 20 years um, in business to maintain a strong network. Um, the other is uh, having uh, a series of mentors uh, to be able to find somebody that has done well in uh, either the role or the types of industries you want to be in, but finding a good mentor and hooking up and being very bold and asking, can you serve as my mentor? Doesn't necessarily require a lot of time, uh, but be able to have somebody that you can bounce your ideas off of uh, and your direction to make sure that you're grounded, you're using common sense, um, and, and it's really what makes sense for who you are. And the other, uh, the, the other piece, um, just follow your heart. Um, don't, you know, yeah, you may have a mentor uh, that can give you some guidance, but follow your heart. Where are your passions? What do you really enjoy doing? What are you good at? What do you love doing? And if you can't, if you can't match what you're doing to number one, what you're good at and what you love doing, you need to find another career. Money is not always about success. Community, humanity, and what you do personally, heart and soul, is what creates success for you, okay? So, I would consider myself, at 70 years old, one of the most successful people in, my in the world. Um, because I've achieved community, I've, commu I've achieved re personal relationships, and my business financially is successful. One would be working hard. Two would be having confidence. And three would be not passing up opportunities. Always want to take the opportunity and um, utilize all the, all the advice that you have around you. Because if you don't ask for those advice, nobody's gonna give it to you. But if you have those, um, if you have those resources available to you, such as this program, Gift Team 20, then you should absolutely reach out to as many people, as, as many resources you, as you can, because you are accelerating your experience, right? So these are the people who have done this 10, 20 years already, and simply having a conversation or even, you know, offer to buy them coffee, and you just accelerated, you know, 10 years in your own career path and maybe like avoid 50 trip overs, right? The, so that, that, that's definitely something that I would tell myself is, is to go out and seek for all those opportunity of the people who you can get, um, you can get advice from and, and really try to digest them. Right? And that, that's going to help you a lot. You wanna, you wanna induce creativity. You wanna, you wanna be, you wanna challenge the status quo. And if you are always stuck in the, in the rule box, then you're never going to change the world, right? So, you know, there's always certain ways, there's many ways to do something, and I, I'm always trying to think out of the box. And I think people who are on my team would also love to, um, to break out and, and try something new. Looking back, you know, you always have like a lot more perspective when you look back, but um, a lot of the first early jobs that you'll have as a teen might seem really random because a lot of the time you kind of, you know, it's, it's hard to find a good job and whatnot. Um, but even if you have like a long-term career goal in mind, if that summer job that you are able to get seems kind of like not related, don't worry about it. Like go after the job that's a little bit of a challenge in some way that'll like push your limits a bit. And for me, when I was, after I graduated from high school and I was about to go to college, for me, I was incredibly shy when I was younger. And for me, that, that job was waiting tables. <laughs> it scared me, but for some reason I did it. And that summer, uh, I came out of my shell, you know, and it like really made me a lot more like bold and like social. And that in turn like helped me later in my career, which has nothing to do with restaurants or anything like that. But so just really go after something that's kind of a challenge, whatever that might be for you. Well, three things that made me successful. One, um, my education. Um, two, my volunteerism. I volunteered a lot. And three, what made me successful was there was an element of luck. You know, I was in the right place at the right time. And I will just tell you that if opportunity knocks and you don't take it, it doesn't go away. It goes to somebody else. 
So you have to take those risks sometimes. You have to be take it, take something that makes you a little bit uncomfortable, but do it. Because that's what's going to lead you to success. My intelligence, um, my ambition, my drive, and my commitment to excellence. Um, whatever I do, I do very well because my name is attached to it, and that matters a lot to me. You'll always want to take the opportunity and um, utilize all the, all the advice that you have around you. Ask questions. Older people like me are always more than likely willing to share their experiences, mistakes they've made, and, um, and give you advice. So don't be afraid to ask for help. Keep your eyes and ears open, right? If you have a passion in a certain area, try to explore and start planning around that a bit, right? Um, there's a lot of competition in the marketplace, so don't give up. Take life as it comes, enjoy, you know, have fun as you're going through as well. Don't stress too much. There's a lot in life you can do without stressing, trust me, you know. And, you know, work hard too. Whatever you want to do, just work hard, right? You have to put your best in it. You can't just take it for granted in this dream, right? You have to put your effort in there. And once you get through, you know, I'm pretty sure you will get what you're looking for. You just need to choose the right path and make the right choices. So good luck to you and thank you.